driving along I-5 south of Portland, you may have seen the cones and orange vests, but had no idea what was brewing along a stretch from Tiger to Tualatin. It's a tool the Oregon Department of Transportation is using to relieve congestion bottlenecks that's getting little notice, but having a big impact. They are called auxiliary lanes, a direct ramp to ramp connection. And that means a lot of traffic avoids merging into the main part of the freeway, a neat tool in the toolbox to help reduce crashes. In areas where we look to implement auxiliary lanes are often the areas where we see the most friction with drivers not having enough time or space to merge and weave. Megan Channel is a planner with ODOT. Auxiliary lanes are proven to address congestion in our area. We've implemented a number of auxiliary lanes on our system over the years, including most recently an I-5 southbound auxiliary lane near Tualatin, which has improved operations and reduced the delay that our traveling public sees on the system on a day-to-day -day basis. The problem of bottlenecks is everywhere. The Interstate Bridge, the Abernathy Bridge on I-205, Highway 26 at the Vista Ridge Tunnel, and anywhere on I-84 in Portland. Though every location is unique, ODOT says auxiliary lanes will probably help ease congestion anywhere they're tried. Like, for instance, the Rose Quarter, Portland's worst bottleneck. So an auxiliary lane on the Rose Quarter is really important because this is an area where you have three interstates coming together and those auxiliary lanes give the drivers more time and space to make those movements between the key systems on our facility. ODOT finished the auxiliary lane in what had been one of the worst bottlenecks in the entire metro area, I-5 from Highway 217 and 205. Already, this auxiliary lane has reduced congestion from what had been about five hours all the way down to one. That's huge. Just ask Craig Dirksen, the longtime commuter on I-5. What ODOT has done here was taken several separated auxiliary lanes that were used as on and to connect on and off ramps, and they've linked those all together from 217 to I-205 so that there's not so much conflict between people getting on and off the freeway and those who are just trying to get through. And that small improvement has made a huge difference in the amount of congestion. It just makes traffic flow so much smoother. In 2019, auxiliary lanes will open on I-205 and in the next couple of years, ODOT plans more along crowded 217, southbound from Beaverton Hillsdale Highway to 99W and northbound from 99W to Shoals Ferry Road.